Okay, so our project is on solutions, suspensions, and colloids. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain each of them, and we're going to show you examples. And then we're going to tell you how to differentiate between the three. So to begin, we're going to make a solution. And a solution is a transparent, homogeneous um, substance. And what homogeneous means is that it appears as one uniform substance. Although it might have like more, it might have two different substances in it, it so appears as one. And also, a solution has no visible particles. So we're making sugar water, and sugar will act as the solvent, and that's the substance being dissolved. And water is the solute, and that's the thing dissolving the solvent. So we're going to add a little bit of sugar, and as we've noticed, it tastes a little bit. Um, for it to dissolve because it's a little chunky, but it will eventually dissolve if you keep mixing it. So, well, okay, well, it's almost dissolved, it's almost there. Perfect, almost perfect. All right, so. In this, you just saw us put sugar into the water, but there aren't any visible particles in it because the sugar is mixed in, but it, you can't see that the sugar is mixed in, and that's what makes this a solution. Uh, upon sitting, the sugar and water will not separate, which is, it, as you'll see, it different, that makes it very different from the suspension. All right, so this is the... Solution. Next, we're going to make a suspension. And what a suspension is, it's a heterogeneous uh, substance. So you'll be able to see the different parts in it. And it contains visible particles, unlike the solution. As you can see in the solution now, it does not contain any visible particles. You can't see the sugar in it. But we'll be making a chalk water suspension. And you will be able to see the chalk particles in it. So now we're going to add some chalk to the water. And we're going to stir it. Upon sitting, the chalk and water will separate. And this is what it looks like after sitting a few minutes. You can tell by your eye if something is a suspension because you can see the particles in it. It's very difficult for you to probably see on the film, but there, as I see, there are many different particles in it. And so there are many different examples of suspensions that you might not have known were suspensions. Uh, first, the ocean is a suspension. Not the salt water. The salt water is actually a solution, but the sand and the water are a suspension because near the shore, the sand gets mixed in with the water because the like because of waves and stuff. But the sand eventually settles to the bottom of the ocean, and that's what makes it a suspension because the sand is visible in the water, and then it eventually will settle out upon standing. And mud and smoke are also examples of suspensions. Now we will talk about a uh, colloid finally. Um, what a colloid is, it's very similar to a solution because it's homogeneous and it looks like it is one substance. But unlike the solution, the colloid um, has smaller particles in it. Unlike the suspension's visible particles, the colloid, the colloid particles aren't as visible. Here we have milk, which is a colloid. Unfortunately, we couldn't make this one. So we just bought the milk at the store. Yeah. Bought it at the store. And honey, glue, and blood are also examples of colloids. Colloid looks very similar to a solution. As you can see, they both are homogeneous. So how do you tell the difference? There's a special way for them to be differentiated. And it's through the use of 
something called the Tyndall effect. Effect. The Tyndall effect is the effect of light being scattered in many dire in direction in many different directions in a colloid because the light hits smaller particles in the colloid and is reflected in many different directions. Shining a powerful light through a substance is the best way to determine whether the substance is a solution or a colloid. And so we have a light. Yeah. And so when we shine it through the solution, you see it comes out straight on this side. See, look, you can see it on my hand. It comes out straight on this side and the light isn't really scattered. It just goes straight through. Now, when we do the same thing, we're gonna just shine it through the colloid. Uh, it doesn't really go out, go out uh, straight through. As you can see, it's scattered in many different directions because the light is hitting the smaller particles in this colloid and that causes the light to be reflected in a lot of different directions so the light can't travel straight through. So when you shine the light and you see that it's reflected in many different directions, oh, you can actually see it from on top of the, uh, from the a view on top of the colloid as well. You see that it's like all around there. And so this is the Tyndall effect in action. And it's also why you can't use your high beams in the fog, as it's a very like important lesson when you're driving. A lot of people just remember you can't use your high beams in the fog, and that's because the light from the high beams is reflected by water particles that are in the air, and it's reflected in many different directions, and that includes back in your in your direction, so it could blind you, and that's why you can't use your high beams in the fog. All right. To review, a solution is a clear and homogeneous uh, substance, and light can travel right through it. Let's see. And a suspension is made up of visible, par visible particles and will eventually separate upon standing, as it has separated upon standing at this very moment. And lastly, the colloid is also homogeneous and it looks kind of like a solution but unlike a solution it scatters light as seen through the use of the Tyndall effect all right i know you didn't really have a choice in watching this but thanks for watching it anyways